What's up guys, Inners here with another video for you. Today we're going to take a look at the Global Labs Test Server Patch Notes. We're going to do it a little bit different today since I'm in a bit of a time crunch right now. So we're going to go over the patch and basically first thing we got to look at Nightmare Kazarka. They are revamping world bosses, starting with Kazarka. So their Nightmare Kazarka is a more powerful version of Kazarka, and it is a random chance for it to, to spawn, as far as I could tell from the notes. It's a good thing that they're looking at Kazarka. It's a little bit outdated now. It's been out for very way too long without really any major changes to it. So now that they're adding Nightmare Kazarka, as we might be seeing Nightmare Karandas, but they want to keep the integrity of what Kazarka is as a sort of like introductory world boss so it's not going to be always very difficult for newer players so kazarka will not always be in nightmare mode when it is in nightmare mode it will have greater loot but we don't know exactly what that means maybe more chances for kazarka boxes or something like that i imagine hopefully more things like kafras or ancient spirit powders th things like that would be also very good second thing huge major new bat battleground new rbf map so garment's nest is the new rbf map um i talked about this a while ago maybe a couple of weeks ago when they revamped the whole rbf thing they said that they would add new maps and this is the first of the new maps we're also going to get more they said they talked about uh, they're going to be adding more so it feels fresh. So basically you go into these different channels. These will be the dedicated like Garmouth spawn map channels. And then you can go into those and you'll be able to do an RBF inside of here. It looks pretty cool. I want to see, well, I mean, in game it's not available right now as far as I could tell. So hopefully when it goes live in Korea, we can get some footage and show you guys. Now, next up, we have another crazy thing I wasn't even expecting. Dreamy Ardornat. So Dreamy Dream Horses. <laughs> Tier 10 horses are now being implemented into the game. The first one is the Dreamy Ardonaut or Dream Ardonaut, which is a bit interesting, uh, the name, since Ardonaut, Doom, and Dine are Dream Horses, or Tier 9 as we call them. Uh, so these will be Tier 10. And the way they work is you would have to essentially prepare a male and female Ardonaut and use additional materials to try to dreamify them or dreamy. Um, any sort of collecting and processing a certain number of items obtained when delivering horses to the Imperial family. The one thing that you need to keep in mind is uh, the existing female and male Ardonauts are combined into one in a dream and a new Ardonaut is born. So both T9s die basically or get sacrificed to make the T10. If the dream fails, only the additional materials will be disappeared so you don't actually lose the T9s. So don't uh, don't fret about that. The new dreamy Ardonaut born is with one or two skulls exclusively for the dreamy Ardonaut, such as the Spirit of Horse, Double Leap, Wings of the Wind, which are unique skills of Ardonaut. It also has a red mane and a special effect. We don't know what it looks looks like they said they will be showing what the new dreamy Ardonaut looks like when it goes live in Korea so hopefully I'll have some footage for that uh, when it goes live later next week they also specified that the dreamy Ardonaut has unique skills that can only be acquired when it's first born so you can't just pay to win your skills anymore I mean you can the normal dreamy or uh, the normal Ardonaut skills can be paid to win still through the courser method but the new skills can only be received at birth so you need to have a sort of rng luck in that regard now moving on we have uh, additional improvements they talked about how this week we're not really going to be expecting a lot of changes to classes because they've been buffing awakening classes so much so for the most part nothing really that crazy to talk about and in terms of ranger tamer these are all like visual or sound effect changes for berserker they are saying that they addressed the issue with giant sleep supposedly the previous fix was to prevent giant leap from having a shorter distance and now it still has an issue with shorter distance when being hit while you use the skill so now supposedly that should be fixed and also the movement distance should be fixed as well so you can go further than before as far as anything else that's pretty much it so the next up is the accessories so pen accessories are now more expensive they've increased the price of all of these that's good they also added the orchestra feature for the music album so basically uh, before you had to be on a shy to play any type of music that's normal you still need a shy to play any type of music but if you have a shy in your family and you're on your ranger for example like right here you can summon your shy to do to play the music album uh, piece so this would be your shy in your family say that's your like 62 shy and this is your 62 ranger and you say oh you know what i feel like i just want to play some music right now let me summon my shy you can do that and then the shy will 
play whatever piece you chose and that's that i mean that's the the purpose of orchestra so you don't have to always switch onto your shy and it stays there so it's like a summon you can walk away and it will eventually disappear once you get a certain distance you can summon your shy even on ships although if it works like maids it might not be like stuck on the ship it might just be stuck on the ocean they also added uh, new pieces for the colossus ring all over the continent so this is the merchant ring a new uh, clue for one of the pieces has come out and they added uh, guild bosses now give skill XP when you kill them so more people can do them because right now they're saying about only 20% of the guilds actually do guild bosses hopefully skill XP does does help a bit it depends on how much you get I don't think it'll be still that good but we'll see they also added a sort of new sea monster area here for you to fight in near the Ross and Yur and Morgoria seas so nine sharks and and dark rust or dark iron toots have uh, now appeared in this area uh, Port Rad I believe is right here and then this is the new area where they they will appear and if you fight them here there's a chance that this Rek Rashan uh, boss sort of will appear and you can fight that as well so this is an event right now going on in korea and it appears that it's very popular so they're going to add it to the game permanently in this way so that uh, if you fight in this area you have a chance to reveal the regression of the deep sea and fight him and you get some uh, you need three people to fight him as far as i can tell you can get, get loot up to three people and then you can get materials for your uh, blue character ship parts they also added a new sort of uh, new skills for node wars so new ctg specifically for node wars a uh, new sort of a resurrection uh, re reduction for all guild members as well instant recovery of all guild members health so it's the second one of those uh, recovers 200 life spirit every three seconds for all guild members for one minute and uh, so 300 uh, 200 hp recovery i think or maybe willpower recovery i'm guessing it'll be hp recovery on this and it's 30 minute cooldown so that's too bad and the other 30 minute cooldown is um, all guild members movement speed plus 20 percent for one minute so that's also good for pushes as well good good changes i, I like this whole ctg for node wars thing and uh, we don't know if you can still use the normal ctg that would allow for two teleports so that's pretty good as well for node wars they added or they doubled the amount of medals that you get for winning tier ones tier twos tier threes and tier fours so it's basically double now 12 pieces for tier fours now 24 pieces and they've also added uh, how much how much more you get uh for winning and they've added a couple items to the shining metal exchange so now you have often tet light uh, so if you want to get an often box you can do so through that and they uh, added an often tet box as well if you want and they also reduced the cost of the Karanda Energy or the Karanda Aura, uh, the 20 Valks Cry or the 20 Valks Advice, sorry, and the Dandy Box as well. And finally, they added a sort of, uh, we know through the character selection screen or the character switch, you can see what inventory your other characters have. So now you can look at what gear they have. Through this screen right here, you can look at what they have on right now. So for example, for me, it actually happened when I was trying to find a quest earring for the Hashashin or for one of my seasoned characters, and I couldn't find it. It was because it was equipped on one of my Dark Knights. Very good change for that. And that's pretty much it for this Global Labs test server patch notes, guys. Let me know what you think about the new RBF map, the new Arduinot, the new T10 horses. Are you excited for that? Let me know in the comments. And as always, guys, thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.